Anyways, so the Russians think they can come and take St. Petersburg. Well, I've got some news for them. They're not getting it without a fight. I tell you that. Welcome back, Noodles. It's time for another episode in our Swedish campaign. Now, what I promised last time was that we were going to take over or take our army over to fight the Prussians. That is exactly what we're going to do. We're still on the same turn. We didn't end it. Um, again, in the east, just to kind of recap for you guys, if you if it's been a minute since the last episode came out. I'm, again, I'm trying to get these out a lot faster. So they're almost back to back. So I'm releasing multiple videos in the week. But, you know, I still have family, possible job coming up, all that kind of stuff. I'm very busy, so sometimes it's hard for me to get content out like I want to. But once again, look out for new content on the ser on the channel. I got a new series that I'm working on, and hopefully that'll be re released soon. What I'm going to try and start doing, actually, is doing batch recordings to where I get quite a few episodes ready. So that way I can just keep playing and recording while already having stuff in the folder and ready to be edited, if not already edited. So I'm trying to get a system going here that's better than the way I had it. Um, so I can get these things out a lot faster to you. Getting one campaign done in one year for you guys to watch is just kind of ridiculous. When I could get this done in a lot sooner, I believe. So once again, I appreciate your view. I appreciate your subscription if you give that to me. Um, anything, a like, or even just a comment saying I'm good or I'm bad. I don't care. <laughs> If you enjoy it, I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, let's go ahead and get into this now. All right. Ugh. Just a lot of talking. I'm sorry. Uh, all right. So we are going to go ahead and fight these guys. That's the deal. So they've got grenadier units. They have uh, the six pounder horse artillery, which I'm not too scared of, to be quite honest. My 12 pounders hit harder than they do. Uh, they might be a bit more accurate, though. But they have the same range, so... I'm not too worried about it. Um, the again, the 12 pounders just by default of being a 12 pounder hit way harder. So uh, we also have 12 pound howitzers, so we can get some of those. I'm gonna try and set this up nicely the way I normally would set up an army. And we do have our cavalry to go after uh, their artillery units once we get things kind of knocked down. So we're gonna try and take care of these melee. Be on the watch out for these grenadiers, and then their cuirassiers as well so i'll see you guys on the battlefield all right guys welcome to the battlefield here we're gonna go ahead and unlimber these cannons and we're gonna unlimber these guys as well put them on an explosive shell and hopefully things will actually work out better for us this time around um we do have them looks like they are going i don't know what they're doing they're leaving their fortifications which again if you play this game Never, ever, ever put your cannons in these fortifications. It just, it hinders them so much more than benefits them. So just be careful of that. I am going to speed this up just because I want to see what they're planning on doing. Because it looks like they're reforming and running around and being kind of silly. So let's see what they decide to do. If they get too far away, I'm going to send in my horse regiment to tease them. So, uh, let's see. I am really not sure what they're doing. If they're running away, that's kind of funny. I guess we'll find out. I'm actually going to go ahead and send in. Uh, do I? Because we got the Cursars here. Uh, maybe. Let's see what happens. They're, they're lining up over here. We could actually bring our horse regiment this way. So we're going to bring them around the back. And what I'm hoping... I mean, we are corner camping. I'm not even going to lie. We are definitely corner camping. <laughs> but I'm hoping they don't decide to uh, come forward here. That would be kind of funny. So we're still in fast forward mode here. And I'm going to go ahead and take out their cannons. Because that's going to make them advance, possibly. Watch this. Bam! Attack you. We're going to get rid of you. We're going to attack you now. Get rid of you. 
All right, we're gonna come around the back. Come on, I wanna try and get there before they fall upon me. All right, we're gonna attack them, get them knocked out. And it's gonna take care of them. Let's get them, come back around, get out of their firing range. Knock them out. Shattered, shattered, we're good to go. All right, that is gonna kill some of our guys. Honestly, at this point, I don't care. <laughs> I'd prefer not to lose them, but you know, it happens. All right, now we've got them actually moving in. So this is the best part, okay. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna move our guys this way. We're gonna move these guys backwards so that they're not in the way of the cannon fire. And let's see, how far does this go? Where is the range on this? Oh, there it is. All right, so they're gonna start encroaching, which is great for us bad for them we're gonna leave these guys on fire at will and just kind of see what they do let them fire a bit get close they look like they're trying to flank so what we're gonna do is pull it so that we got our guys kind of catty corner in a way but also doing a straight line as best we can same thing here. We're going to push these guys this way. And we're going to push these guys this way. So their general got killed, which is even greater for us. And we're going to slow it down now. Because <laughs> if I keep going fast, we're just not going to do well at all. Okay, so I want you guys to not fire at will anymore. I want you to fire there. You to fire here. And then I want you to go ahead and start firing this way. You start firing this way. It's not going to be good for this cannon because of the angle that things are at, but we should be fine on this side. And then we're going to get our horsemen ready because these guys are good. We can go ahead and move them to the back here. We should be fine. Our horsemen, though, we're going to bring them forward. Right about there. All right, my boys. It's going to shred them. Shred them up. That's what we want. forward we're gonna bring them forward as well we're gonna get to see the white of their eyes we're gonna take them out all right no fire at will I want you firing where I want you to all right, right here please same thing I want you firing right here and we're gonna crash these boys on the side here all right, I want you to fire here, and I want you to fire right here. All right, square up. Square up, boys. Hurry, 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 hurry. Oh, get him. Oh, there we go. All right. We got the square kind of last minute. <laughs> Which kind of works, kind of doesn't, so... We're gonna get these guys to focus fire on them. Focus fire on them. Take them out. I'm gonna get them to go after the broken ones, actually. All right, broken and tired. We can go ahead and bring them back out. All right, we're gonna bring them forward. Round shot and victory. Look at that. Now, I am going to go through with my uh, cavalry and stuff and take the rest of them out. So, as much as I can at least. I will see you guys back on the campaign map.
All right, so we were able to knock out 577 of their guys, which is awesome. Uh, we lost 201, though, which kind of sucks, but, you know, it wasn't too bad of a loss. Uh, our boys are not too bad. We could recruit and definitely get back to where we need to be. Um, but, yeah, that was actually really nice. So we knocked them back, which is great. So now they're back here at the main army. We're going to let them sit because, I mean, honestly, there's nothing much we can do. We are going to combine what troops we lost just so we have tighter numbers. And then I can recruit what I need left from the other guys. So not too shabby there. Not too shabby at all. I wish I could repair that, but that is a lot of money to repair and I do not have it at the moment. If we take a look at policies, so we should be good right now. I'm actually going to tax. Uh, should I tax the rich more? Yeah, let's tax the nobility all the way again. And we're going to keep them there. That way, I mean, I'm a monarchy. I can do whatever I want. So <laughs> uh, hopefully that will pan out well. And we have a couple recruitment. Uh, I think we have the one or two recruitment happening here, right? One. So we got one going on there. We got a defensive position over here. And then we've got a general and a couple of, and a new troop that we're working on here, which we're actually going to make a new army coming from Sweden itself. So hopefully things will pan out for us. Let's go ahead and end the turn. All right. Greatly beneficial to us. Corlin now has a fortified structure. Uh, Poland is definitely gearing up. It looks like they're gearing up, getting ready to come out and face us. So. I'm hoping that we will actually have the troops and the capacity to withstand them. I'm going to go ahead and just keep recruiting here. I'm going to get another um, person. What I am going to do as well. I don't want too many generals though because I'm kind of worried about putting too many generals out and about. But I do want at least one regiment of horse over here. So we're going to get that going. Um, over here in Hanover, we are going to redo our army there. And then we are going to go ahead and start recruiting over here as well. So I'm going to start recruiting. I just want to make sure real quick. Yeah, that gives unhappiness. So we're not going to do that. Uh, this is a workshop. We could actually do this and that would be beneficial to us. So we're going to get that. We won't recruit just a minute. We'll wait one more turn on that, which is fine. I want to make sure that we are getting the money we need. We need to upgrade the mainland. And if I can do that with that and not get unhappiness, that'll be great. A new town emerges. That's awesome. So we can next turn go ahead and put another craft workshop because I uh, can never have too many of those, I believe. And we got kinetic theory of grass. Oh, you know what I forgot to do last turn? was to make sure as far as what we were researching so this okay yeah we were doing that and then we were going to do this so we get the minus five recruitment so that's fine uh we do want to get this though this takes 11 turns i'm actually going to get that we don't really need to worry about a navy at the moment i want this car carcass shot because this is a good incendiary shot that is really nice against the enemy when it comes to uh using a mortar this is way better than using the um explosive shells this and quicklime shells is what you want percussion shells you don't get those till way later in the game anyway so it's not a big deal and same with explosive rockets rockets in themselves aren't really that great they're meant more just to lower morale of the troops than they are to actually devastate and kill so they're not great <laughs> They're okay, but they're not great. Rocket ships, on the other hand, are actually pretty decent for your Navy. So, But again, I don't really focus on navies um, just because it just never pans out for me. Uh, yeah, this plus five. Why would I want to get more recruitment costs? I mean, I guess because it, you could get it reduced later, but it just kind of... I don't see a point in that. <laughs> anyway, this, this, though, we definitely want. This gives plus one upkeep cost for artillery. Eh, that kind of sucks, but plus one is better than plus five. So I'll take that. This quick line, though, is going to be nice once we are able to get that. Shrapnel shot is actually pretty decent, too. So uh, that's that's a very nice one. 
I think actually this is better than explosive shot. Explosive shells are okay, but this shrapnel shot is way better and it's very devastating. But I think this is just for your actual cannons. It's not for your, is it a mortar shell? No. Yeah, this is more for um, your actual cannons. I believe that's what it shot out of. Anyway, okay, we're going to start work researching that, which is fine. Um, The Weaver Cottage would be nice if we could repair that, but we can't. They are going to be recouping, so there's nothing much I can do about that. Same here. We're recouping with those guys, and that's going to be... I believe that's going to be the turn because there's not much else I can do at the moment. Sweden is not happy as far as uh, what we're doing, but that's okay. Uh, we are doing furs. Our sugar we can't do because, yeah, we're being blockaded. So that's lovely. All right. That is the end of that turn. All right, so Russia has decided to attack us at St. Petersburg. They have two armies that will be attacking us. Um, the second one's not so large. The first one eh, is not that large either. I mean, they definitely outnumber us. We should be able to take them. I'll see you on the battlefield. All right, welcome to the battlefield, guys. Going ahead and getting it started here. Best we can. Hoping that we can actually beat these guys rather well, which is being rather nice. <laughs> um, they're doing exactly what I thought they would do. We got the area over here blocked off with some horse stuff, so they can't actually get in too well with their horses. We also have quite a bit of people here to withstand their onslaught, hopefully. That's kind of the goal here. All right, these Grenadiers think it should be good enough to go against them, but we shall see. Maybe, maybe not. But we are able to hopefully fight them off. Yep, they're doing rather well, which is great. All right, we're going to go ahead and get these guys to fire back on there. Anyway, so the Russians think they can come and take St. Petersburg. Well, I've got some news for them. They're not getting it without a fight. I tell you that. We're going to hold St. Petersburg, and we are going to win, and they're going to kiss my butt. <laughs> All right, so we're going to keep our boys back here. They're going to stay behind this line. We need to get them on defensive mode so they're not running backwards. All right, at the moment, I want to get these guys to stop firing for the moment. Let's see. All right. Now we can get them to focus fire again. And then once these guys are closer, we'll go ahead and start firing on them. Now I am worried about these guys coming up from the back, but I've got everybody on every set of reserve that I can. Their cannons are shooting our wing over here. So I'm not too worried about it to be quite honest, but we should be good enough. Oh, yeah. I don't know why these guys are on melee right now. I forgot I put them on melee. That was my fault. There we go. Let's get back behind the barricade, guys. Protect it as best we can. Everybody, ready? Ready your arms. And fire. Now, they are coming in to take out the this tower of um, citizenry, which is kind of silly. But okay, if that's what you guys want to do. See, that's the foot infantry. Yes, they are leaving. So our fire lock, they're doing rather well. So I don't think we have to worry about them too much. We're going to aim right there. We're going to use these guys to aim right here. This is what I'm hoping they do. They just keep coming in waves and coming through this hole. Although a bit boring, if you really look at it that way, because if it were me, I would be having, you know, someone coming up this way, someone coming up this way, someone coming over here, that kind of deal. But this is the computer and the computer, we're going to actually group these guys. The computer itself does not like to play the way a player would. So we can kind of exploit it. So if the 
battle gets a bit too boring, we'll skip to the end, and you guys can see what the what the outcome is. <laughs> we are gonna fire on there, these guys, not so much. I want you guys to hold. Let's see. Let's see if I can get a grenade shot on these guys without killing my boys too much. Never mind. Let's bring them back because they're just going to get hit. My grenadiers do have bayonets, which is great. I love it when my soldiers have bayonets like they're supposed to. <laughs> Alright. Face your way. Let's get you guys a little bit closer. Come closer. Let's see if we can get these. So we have the waves coming in. Right now we don't need you guys firing at the moment. Uh, I do have a cannon set up right here just to in case we got anybody that comes this way and then we've got also some troops here in the back on reserve once again I'm expecting them to knock this down and next thing I know they're gonna be coming through here so I actually should go ahead and prepare for that to be quite honest so let's go ahead and grab these boys we're gonna line them up right here to protect that flank we have some grenadiers here in the back that are Basically just to charge forward in case anything bad happens. Alright, there we go. They're coming through. Very slowly, at least. I don't want to speed it up because I don't want to jinx myself. Because I know that's more than likely what's going to happen to me. Throw another grenade, please. Got another grenade going. All right, and we're going to put fire at will back on. Perfect. Look at that, isn't that nice? I love it when things work out. So, how much more you got? Not much. That one's about to fall. So, we got our boys here ready to go. We got our boys here ready to go in case they decide to come this way. We might actually go ahead and bring them forward like this. So, the Russians were able to take out those guys. That's okay. We're going to go ahead and start firing on them. And same here. I'm going to get these guys to kind of fire right here. We have our boys set up though, so they should be able to fire on them, just as these guys can fire as well. We're going to piss them off. Alright, firing again, let's see, get a grenade, and whammo! Here it comes, wham! We're just going to keep grenading them. <laughs> it's working. Die by grenade, my enemy. Looks like we kind of shot ourselves in the foot there. Nope. Come back. Come back, boys. We're essentially just going to keep firing right here, you. And you, you going to fire. You can kind of stop, I guess. I don't really see how you guys. Eh, I guess if we fire right there, we could get it. Grenade! Out! Grenade! Out! <laughs> Oh, 
Bold position. Grenadiers are awesome. I love it. Shattered, shattered. Yeah, the Russian morale is just not great. All right, they did destroy this, but they haven't really destroyed the walls. So these are good, but the ramp, like the rampart itself is down. All right, we can chill there. It looks like these horsemen might be coming in. But once again, we have these uh, horse defenses, so they can't actually come that way. Which works out for us. Now, I do have this area open so that when I can get my own horsemen out, we'll go after their artillery at the end. But the best thing to do at the moment is just to kind of sit, wait, and get ready to go and attack these guys once we can. But for now, there's not much we can do because I don't want them to get caught in any kind of infantry stuff because that's where all the infantry is coming through this hole at the moment. So my grenadiers over here are going to be getting some kills, hopefully. We'll see what happens. All right. Time to get these boys to start firing again right there. And you guys, honestly, right here would probably be nice. Or right here. That, that should get some of them, maybe. All right. And we're going to wait for them to come through and hopefully throw some grenades at them. Wait for it. Wait for it. Fire! <laughs> and right click. <laughs> All right, they're coming in. Sadly, these Russians are really tough. Alright, so what we're going to do is essentially recycle. So I'm going to get my Grenadiers out of there. We're going to let them chill. I'm going to bring them to the back. Uh, yeah. Bring them to the back. And we're going to put... these uh, linemen up this way now. Same with here. Again, I'm not really worried. I thought they were going to be coming this way, but they're not. So I think we're actually pretty safe. So I'm just going to bring these guys to the back here just to sit on reserve. And then these guys are just going to chill here until they are ready to go. Everybody else is pretty chill, so... That is a lot of Russians. And they're rushing me to get the fort. <laughs> ah, that was a bad joke. I'm sorry. That was funny, though, to me. <laughs> now that we got a lot more troops over here, I'm just, I feel better having the battalion here than having an, another regiment out and about. So. Uh, I'm really hoping we don't lose a whole lot of wall damage, though, because that's going to suck. All right. I think, personally, bodyguard, horse. I'm going to send this regiment a horse out. See if I can get it. Let's see. I'm going to move them like this first because I know how the walls work. And the walls are stupid sometimes. Or the doors, at least. All right. Let's see. If this gets that way and we want to go this way... Are you going to open door? Maybe. There it goes. All right. Let's get them out. We're just constantly wrecking their faces right now. <laughs> Look at all these Russians. Oh, my gosh. Let's see what some grape shot does to these guys. Look at them all. That is crazy. Here they come. Come on, boys.
Ooh, that grape shot. Decimated. Decimated. And now they're all on the retreat. They're all shattered. Like, they can't even get in. Like, not at all. <laughs> all right. We do have this guy's out. So we're going to start getting them that way. We're going to start taking out their artillery now. I think we have just enough to get everybody out. So we're going to bring these guys out this way. Bodyguard can chill. I don't think we got to worry about them. And these guys are small, so they should be able to go around. And then we'll circle around here. Getting all their artillery. So we're going to let them walk out. Because apparently when we try to rush out, it doesn't work right. So continue to fire that way. These guys, y'all can chill. Nothing, nothing you guys can do at the moment. All right, we do have some horse regiment kind of coming our way. All right, we're going to send those guys in. And then this horse regiment. I'm really hoping we can get these guys out. There we go. Doors open, so we're going to speed it up now. These guys are coming in. We're going to continue firing right there. Yeah, they're going to come inside and they're going to get wrecked in the face. Not worried about it at all. Mm. And they touched my cannons, you assholes. <laughs> get back on your cannon, you stupid. Ah, I hate it when they actually get in and touch my cannons. Don't touch my cannons. Are you guys really, really, really? All right, I'm deleting them if they do not die in this round. All right, whatever. I had them circle around too, so it's not like they actually got hit in the back. so lame all right um that's pretty much everybody so now i'm not gonna send these guys out horse regiment i can get back I ain't i ain't worried about it we're gonna get rid of them Uh, I'm not going to chase those guys. All right. We're going to circle around here. And I'm going to speed it up for this part because there's really no point in just doing it slow. I should be able to get to them before they start firing on me, hopefully. They're winded at the moment, so. All right. So what I'm going to do. It's charging! Go, boys, go! Show them what Swedes are made of! And that did it for them. <laughs> Decisive victory, I love it. See? The Russians can't take St. Petersburg. We're too good. We only lost 122 guys. That was awesome. I mean, one is still too many, but 122 compared to their 1039 I'll take it and then our cannons I know our cannons got a buttload of kills look at that 297 from this one alone and 213 from that one that one didn't fight anything and then our grenadiers that we had up there got 236 with their grenades that is crazy awesome like the linemen didn't even get that many kills compared to those dudes <laughs> oh that's so cool are you serious right now Denmark are you really serious, Denmark? <sighs> so they've declared war on us, which is dumb. I'm not even going to ask Austria for help with them. Russia didn't help them either. so Because I don't want to ac accidentally ax Austria from being our ally. So. Okay, so now they're enemies with us. They have no trade partners. What are they going to do? Send an army? So we got a gentleman. So we're going to bring him up to Uppsala. I want to stock that place up with some more peeps. 
uh, we're, I was going to do Odense and bring that up, but because of the crap that we dealt with in the last roundabout with them, I'm not going to deal with it. So, okay, so we do have some money to spend. First things first is this building. We're going to put a crafts workshop there. Uh, we are going to repair that building, and we are going to repair uh, as much as I want to. I know it'll repair itself over time, so I'm just going to leave it alone. Uh, trade route rated out here. So Denmark is rating my, <laughs> my trade over here. Okay. So I'm just going to have to send a little army over there or something. I'm going to have to go and send a ship out just to see what they look like. But we're going to have to kick them in the butt. Okay. And we have a new town in Norway as well. So let's go ahead and put down another craft workshop there. And we'll get that. And we had our agent recruited. Okay, so perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, no, we don't want to upgrade that, so that's good. We are going to continue to recruit. Because now I want, like I said, I want to build an army here in Sweden. And send them down to either take Brandenburg or to knock Poland completely off the map and come and take their, <laughs> come and take Coinsburg while their army is kind of occupied, so... That'd be fun to deal with. Now, uh, Lithuania is under siege at the moment. We are under siege by the Prussians. Um, I don't think I have to really worry too much about them. But I'm not sure either. I guess we'll find out. But these Russian troops over here are just causing me pain and frustration. So we are going to, let's take a look here. I'm trying to see who and what I want to fix. So I have some money. I'm definitely going to go ahead and start recruiting. So we're going to get two grenadier units going over here. And then that still allows me to get... As much as I want to upgrade that, I don't see a point. So, honestly, who could I... I guess we'll get a linesman over here just so we can balance that back out. Other than that, that is pretty much the end with them. Denmark, why are you being a butthead? You are crazy. I don't understand it. All right, Russia got its butt kicked. Let's see if we can go with some peace with Russia for a little bit. No. Spain, what about you? Request peace? No. What if we request peace and I still give you... Uh... That. And you know what? I'll even give you five turns of military access. How about that? Still no. <laughs> They don't like us. At least we're not hostile with the United Province anymore. Um, the funny thing is, is, I bet we could give them a gift. Let's see. If I gave them the Leeward Isles as like a gift, they'll probably take it. <laughs> but I don't want to do that. We could actually use that... Watch this. Let's see. We do an alliance and give you guys the Leeward Isles. Will you take that? I don't know what. In, you know what? I'll even give you improved grenades. How about that? Bam! Changes in diplomatic relations means your army can no longer remain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we gave it to him. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is disband this army because we don't need them anymore oh never mind they're good so i'll leave them because that just freed up some money for us i think so i'm gonna leave them to deal with spain out that way and yeah we don't need the leeward isles anymore it's kind of just a tactical thing for me to do as I probably could have asked for some money for it, but meh. 
I don't even care at this point. I just want Spain to leave me the heck alone. And if England can beat them up, I'll let England beat them up. Because England out here, they already got this area, Glacia and Podilia. So they're kind of out and about here. We have a military alliance with them now, so hopefully that will last for a little bit. If they cancel that on us, I'm going to be sad. <laughs> and that will do it. For that turn. Okay, so we got raided, which is sucky. An agent was detected. Did they kill him? No, he got away. All right. And then St. Petersburg is besieged once again. And our recruitment port report is done. So, again, we're just going to continue recruiting. Um, I do want to get this, but... I feel at the moment we don't we can't afford to upgrade any more than we already have i have fire by rank which is what i really wanted i really don't care about the rest of this this would be nice but it's not big a big deal at the moment the biggest thing is the explosives if we can get the great arsenal done which we do so the next thing we need that to get the uh, gunnery school which will allow us to get rockets, and then after that we can get the ordnance board. But currently we can still get caress carcass shot as we got this. So we're not doing too bad militarily, but it could be better, I'll say. Okay, so now that we don't have to worry about the Americas anymore, we can just put full force, full effort out here in our land. So once again, I'm not really sure what Denmark is thinking they can do because they're a bunch of poopies. And I'm not really worried about them. <laughs> and then uh, the ones I'm really worried about is just Prussia over here. Our army's already back up to speed, so we're good here. So what we're going to do, once again, we still need to hold out against these guys. Um, the Prussians are, tr are trying to, I guess, we'll surrender in two turns. I'm going to give them... Hopefully they will let up. Uh, these guys will surrender in three turns. So still not good. Bunch of linemen and some horse. No artillery this time except for this guy. But that's okay because we got artillery and I can I can fight them just as easy. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, We are going to invest money into our town wealth a bit. And I'm just going to continue to recruit so we got our two grenadiers now now i want one more howitzer and i want two of these you know we could do three howitzers let's do three so we'll just load up on artillery right now as we go through this and that is the end of the money Look at everywhere. Like, we are just sucking it as far as, like, <laughs> raids go. There's not much I can do, though. So that's why it's very important to keep, like, the motherland as stocked as possible when it comes to your towns and your farming and all that stuff. Like, you want to keep that, sh that stocked. As far as the army goes, you know, I'm kind of wondering... I could send these guys after them and fight them. <laughs> I might be able to do it, but I'd rather wait until I have like my secondary army because when you have two armies going against everybody, it makes things so much easier. So who is this? <gasps> oh, it's my American army. All right. I can deal with that. All right, let's send him actually down here. We're going to send him down to Hanover. All right. I was wondering what happened to him and where he went. <laughs> That's where he went. All right. So currently right now, the episode has gone on quite a bit longer than I wanted it to. So we're going to end things here. Currently right now, we are under siege in St. Petersburg and under siege in Lithuania. Our situation in the east has not gotten any easier, which kind of sucks. But you know how it goes. You know what? To be quite honest, I'm actually going to grab. Let me grab this brig out. We're going to meet them over here. I'm going to put them on this ship. And I'm going to bring them actually over here. And we're going to meet them in Coraline. 
grab this army and then we should be able to double stack against these guys something like that so hopefully we can get that done i don't need him over here we'll be fine this guy is going to come down here and take out prussia that's going to be our move with him but now that i have my other general from the americas with a substantial little troop here i can put him on the boat send him over here meet up with the guys in Coraland with theirs grab two cannons maybe in the next turn recruit that if i can and then bam we'll have a, another little army there to go team up with our guys here to go against whatever so that will actually be rather nice so we'll do that anyway all right that's the plan for the next turn or the next episode i hope to see you guys watching that episode and i hope to see you guys enjoy the new content when it does come out um it's gonna be a little bit because like i said i want to try and batch record as be as much as possible and get that edited and made it to look good and whatever so hope you guys enjoy it other than that stay tuned toodaloo stay safe out there goodbye